I would agree. My okay, so my first breakup was in high school. And how old were you? I was uh okay, well, how old are you when you're a senior or junior? Uh well I'm oh we're both young. I was sixteen. Okay. Oh yeah, I was sixteen. Right, right. So sixteen, maybe seventeen, because it was in the summer. But I I did things a little differently than you, and my brother was older than me, and I so I would kind of you know circle around a little bit there, because then I knew automatic approval. So I dated one of his friends, and I guess I decided I never date like I've never I don't date I never dated a lot of people like I think I had like three boyfriends in my life, and um, I would talk to a lot of them, but I wouldn't date a lot of them. And so we we're dating, and one day I think I just decided that we were not going to date anymore, and instead of telling him that, I just started not talking like just not talking to him and I remember one day like but I because I didn't know what to say I didn't want to hurt his feelings like he would have broken my heart I know I'm saying so <laughs> you and I would not have been we would not be compatible daters and I remember getting this text message from him I was pulling in my neighborhood and I get this text and it's like you simply just cannot not talk to somebody for three days like I know you have your phone and like you just you can't do this and I remember being like probably not probably can't do this so I just texted him back and I was like, I think I said something like, you're right. Like I was just being so avoidant. And I thought that would, anyways, we did end up getting back together. And then we broke up because the classic, the worst thing in the world, he's a great older than me. So he went to college where okay. my parents were like, okay, listen, you can of course date the kid in college, but I'm telling you, you are signing up for like him going to fraternity parties. It's going to be a ton of girls like you. I'm telling you, break your heart now. Do not stay with him while he's in college because you're going to be the girl in high school dating the college kid. So you're not going to be hanging out with your friends. And he's going to be the guy in college with the with 17 girlfriends in college and then the one girlfriend in high school. And I thought that was the first time where I was like, I'm going to just take a leap of faith and listen to you guys on this one. And my brother was like, I'm telling you, don't date him in college. You'll just get destroyed. And I, so I didn't. And that ended up like working out a lot better. But I remember that was kind of like a voluntary heartbreak. Like I didn't want to break up with him yet, but we had to because he went to college and that like sucked in the moment. But by the time I got to college, I was really happy that I had done that. But the first time we broke up, it was just like a very immature ghost on my part. And I kind of hated that. I don't know if we have like a ton of high schoolers who listen, but if I could give one piece of advice to any high schooler, it would be do not go to college in a relationship. My second boyfriend was a year, a year younger than me, and I promised myself no matter how much I loved him, I was going to break up with him before I went to college, and I did, and it sucked because it was the same with you. Like, it was voluntary, and it hurt, but I have never been so grateful. I Like, do not go to college in a relationship. Well, and the thing too, is if you do go to college, cause I, I watched a lot of my friends. I think that's like the worst thing you can do as the girl is stay in high school, I think, and have the boyfriend go to college because then you, you lose your senior year Yeah, because your brain, your mind is somewhere else. But I think I watched a lot of my friends break up and then, and then they would go to college. And then there were the cases where they got there and a year in they got back together like if it's meant to be when you're in college it does kind of it does kind of happen again but most of the time you break up and you get to college and you realize you are a little fish in a very big pond and there are that one guy you love in high school there's now 30 of them and you just get to pick which one you want or though even if you both go to like college especially separate colleges I knew I had friends who did that and every weekend they were gone visiting their significant other and then like they broke up sophomore year and they're like wait how do you have all these friends it's like you didn't make any friends because you were gone every single weekend you didn't rush your sorority because you were gone every weekend like I just don't do it and okay so when I went when I went to college I was obviously single and mm -hmm. then and then about I think a year and a half or two years in is when I met Graham and we started dating long distance and I I was very hesitant to start dating long distance because I didn't want to be taken away from like the college experience. But what ended up happening, which was so lovely, was I San Diego was so far from Oklahoma. So I would see him like once or twice a, 